In the previous use case, we showed the example of an attack with a file. We're going to show right now when more sophisticated attackers, they don't use a file because they know files can be detected. They're going to be doing all their work in RAM. It's going to be fileless if you want to call it that way. And there are tools out there that can help you. This uh, PowerShell Mafia thing, it uh, has uh, some uh, power exploit that allows you to inject code into RAM and run it from there. And to run that scenario, let's make sure that we have the, the curator environment ready. So we got no offenses here. Let's go to the Win7 machine, the victim machine. But first, let's make sure that we have Kali ready to do the attack. And what I'm going to be pasting here, and I'm going to explain it, is Actually, it's best if I show it to you here for my editor. Uh, this is the PowerShell that we're going to execute the following command, inject. Uh, we're going to download first the inject execution from that PowerShell Mafia site. We, you know, we don't need to install anything. We'll download it as we need it. That uh, invoke DLS injection PS1. Then we are going to download the actual calculator, the DLL, that we created in the MetaExploit uh, session. And we're actually going to invoke it by injecting that, that code. And right here from the PowerShell, notice how powerful it is for the bad guys. I'm looking at the Explorer, as we did manually before, remember when we did the, the grep uh, manually, the PS grep, and we actually going to inject our code and make it look like so. So let's go here into the victim machine and execute that PowerShell. And hit enter. So I pasted the command in here, and when I hit enter, bang, I get my session established. Let's see if Curera detected this. There's no file again that was put on a temp directory. This is something that was done all in RAM. And sure enough, we have our offense here firing. Let's uh, take a look at it. So we see the sequence of events. And uh, in fact, we can even, before we look at the rules, we can see the actual events themselves. Let's actually take a look at uh, this uh, process create. Notice that this is a PowerShell that was executed parent image from the command line. That's very nice, Ismond. You provided that info, and Curator has the capability of detecting that. And notice that this is the command that we injected. That, you know, that was the downloading of the Power Ma PowerShell Mafia thing. Downloaded the malicious artifact that we created in Kali and invoked the DLS injection, that, pr that process that we downloaded from the uh, PowerShell Mafia and injected it. Very, very nice. And notice that unlike the previous one was an executable, this is actually an injection, uh, injecting code uh, with a DLL instead of an executable. One more time, I want to emphasize, you know, here I'm looking at one of the events uh, that, that we got, uh, that, that Curator was able to detect the actual downloading of that component, the injection, and notice that <laughs> in the sysmon we get even the, 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 the actual details of the guy obtaining dynamically the process ID of Explorer, as we did manually before, and actually 
injecting itself for to, uh, to be this guy. So again, a very powerful type of exploit, easily detectable with Curator when you pass it Sysmon log events. And it's worth repeating, there was no file here. Everything was done in RAM. So any other detection that you do based on a file, it's not going to catch this, but we will.